The James Webb Space Telescope is lauded as the supervisor in general observatory in the field of space science, distinguishing itself through unmatched abilities like no other instrument before it. The Webb Telescope's mission is immense and significant, enabling the study of our own planetary system while reaching far beyond to explore distant worlds and stars light years away. Its primary goal is not only to observe these celestial bodies, but also to delve deep into the fundamental workings of the universe itself, aiming to understand the intricate complexities of the universe and, fundamentally, our place within it. In a significant effort, researchers recently pointed the telescope's powerful gaze toward a star located 120 light years away from Earth. The discoveries from this observation have been nothing short of astounding. The telescope uncovered evidence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of what could be a water-covered world beyond our planet, an extraordinary revelation that has left the scientific community astounded. This discovery prompts us to ask, how is such an incredible finding even possible? It gives us a tantalizing glimpse of a planet vastly different from any in our nearby solar system, challenging our understanding and raising exciting questions about the potential for habitable worlds in the universe. This discovery marks the beginning of a journey to uncover even more about this remarkable exoplanet. For those fascinated by the secrets of the universe and eager to stay informed about such groundbreaking developments, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. That way, you can ensure you're always updated on the latest significant discoveries. Be sure to share this video with others to spread the information and activate the notification bell so you never miss an update. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a critical and profoundly important discovery concerning the exoplanet known as K2-18b. This exoplanet, which has a mass of approximately 8.6 times that of Earth, has been the subject of intense scrutiny. The Webb Telescope's advanced sensors have detected the presence of carbon-based compounds, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere of K2-18b. This finding builds upon previous research and supports the hypothesis that K2-18b could be a planet with conditions favorable for life. The presence of a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, combined with what seems to be an ocean-covered surface, suggests that this exoplanet might indeed be capable of supporting life, or at least conditions conducive to it. Initial assessments of K2-18b's atmospheric properties were carried out with the Hubble Space Telescope, which significantly improved our understanding of this distant world found 120 light years away in the constellation Leo. K2-18b orbits a cool, small star known as K28, which is located in the so-called habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions may be ideal for liquid water and, potentially, life. Planets like K2-18b, which fall between Earth and Neptune in size, form a rare and fascinating class, especially considering that our own nearby solar system lacks similar planets in close proximity. The scarcity of such planets makes K2-18b an especially important subject for study. The fact that K2-18b harbors significant amounts of carbon and exists within a hydrogen-rich environment is of particular interest to astronomers. Some experts speculate that such planets could provide the most promising conditions in the search for extraterrestrial life. The unique combination of methane and carbon dioxide in K2-18b's atmosphere, along with a notable absence of ammonia, lends further credibility to the possibility that this exoplanet could indeed have oceans beneath its hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. Early observations also indicated the possible presence of a compound known as dimethyl sulfide, which, on Earth, is produced solely by biological processes, especially those involving marine phytoplankton. The presence of dimethyl sulfide in K2-18bs atmosphere, if confirmed, would be an unprecedented sign of possible life. However, current data on dimethyl sulfide is not definitive, and more rigorous evidence is required to validate this. Future observations. Using the Webb telescope are expected to provide further clarity on this matter, potentially confirming the presence of dimethyl sulfide in large quantities. A researcher from the University of Cambridge has commented on the implications of these discoveries, noting that while K2-18b is indeed located within a habitable zone and contains carbon compounds, this does not necessarily mean that the planet can support life. The planet's size, with a radius 2.6 times that of Earth, suggests that its core is likely surrounded by a massive, 
high-pressure mantle of ice, similar to Neptune's structure. This indicates that while K2-18b may have a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean-covered surface, the conditions inside these oceans may be too extreme or unsuitable for life as we know it. Nevertheless, scientists have succeeded in capturing the most detailed atmospheric spectrum ever obtained for a sub-Neptune planet, allowing them to determine the chemical composition of its atmosphere with remarkable precision. A scientist from Cardiff University explained that this achievement was made possible by carefully analyzing the light emitted by K2-18b's host star as it passed through the exoplanet's atmosphere. K2-18b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning that its brightness dims when it passes in front of its host star from our viewpoint. This dimming is how NASA's K2 mission first identified K2-18b. The transit method allows a small fraction of the star's light to filter through the exoplanet's atmosphere before reaching telescope instruments like Webb, enabling astronomers to study the composition of the atmosphere by analyzing these light signals. Moving forward, the research team plans to use the Webb telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph to further investigate K2-18BS atmospheric conditions, with the hope of confirming their initial findings and revealing new information about the planet's atmosphere. Their ultimate goal is to identify signs of subsurface activity on potentially habitable exoplanets, an effort that could fundamentally change how we understand the universe and our place within it. In addition to its investigation of K2-18b, the James Webb Space Telescope has also made other groundbreaking discoveries that continue to expand our understanding of the universe. For instance, astronomers using the Webb Telescope have detected complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy, similar in nature to the smoke or fog we find on Earth. This discovery marks the earliest known occurrence of such molecules in the universe, representing a major milestone in human history. These findings are both astonishing and significant, as they challenge our understanding of cosmology and suggest that the universe was capable of producing complexity much earlier than previously thought. To provide some context, the light that astronomers identified from this early galaxy began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, while the universe itself is currently about 13.8 billion years old. This means that we are observing the early stages of the universe's development, so to speak. The most remarkable aspect of this discovery is that it was made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has the potential to make such observations for almost a billion more years. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge further back in time, we may yet uncover even more of these complex molecules, possibly from a period even closer to the Big Bang. This raises important questions about our understanding of physics and cosmology. Until the arrival of Webb, previous attempts to identify complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their absence. However, Webb's primary mission now allows us to pinpoint the exact locations of these molecules within the universe, providing insights into their distribution and concentration. Interestingly, the uneven distribution of these molecules in the early galaxy, known as SP41-11-1847, remains a mystery that researchers have yet to fully unravel. Even more strikingly, this early universe, despite being only one-tenth the age of our Milky Way, was already as vast as our own universe and had produced as much carbon and oxygen as the stars in the Milky Way. As humanity continues to explore the cosmos, equipped with ever-expanding knowledge and a deeper understanding of the universe, we are constantly reminded of the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. Each new scientific breakthrough brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets hidden among the stars. As our body of cosmic knowledge grows, it is only a matter of time before the universe reveals even more of its mysteries offering new insights into the profound questions we strive to answer. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, new discoveries are constantly reshaping our understanding of astronomical phenomena, potentially leading to insights into the early universe and the evolution of cosmic structures. For example, the Webb Telescope's ability to capture images and data from very distant galaxies offers a glimpse into the conditions that existed shortly after the Big Bang. This understanding could help experts unlock the mysteries of galactic formation, star development, and planet creation, providing a clearer picture of the early universe and its subsequent evolution. 
The study of exoplanets like K2-18b is particularly exciting because it opens up additional possibilities for finding extraterrestrial life. Scientists are fascinated not only by whether life exists elsewhere, but also by how different such life forms may be. By studying the atmospheres of distant planets, researchers can search for biomarkers, signs that biological processes may be occurring. These biomarkers could include a variety of chemical compounds or patterns typically associated with biological activity. In addition, the Webb Telescope's cutting-edge technology allows for exceptional observations of star-forming regions and stellar nurseries. These regions are critical to understanding how stars and planetary systems form and evolve over time. By studying the light emitted from these areas, Astronomers can gain valuable insights into the processes that lead to the birth of new stars and planets, as well as the conditions that may be necessary for the development of habitable worlds. In addition to focusing on distant galaxies and exoplanets, the Webb Telescope is also providing valuable data about the development and evolution of our own Milky Way galaxy. By observing specific regions of the universe, astronomers can map its structure, understand the distribution of stars and interstellar matter, and gain insights into the processes that have shaped its development. This information is essential for understanding the broader context in which our solar system exists and for unraveling the history of our universe. One particularly fascinating area of research involves the study of the cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint glow of radiation is a remnant of the Big Bang and carries crucial information about the early universe. By analyzing this radiation, scientists can gather insights into the conditions that existed shortly after the universe began. Webb's observations complement data from other missions, like the Planck satellite, providing a more complete picture of the universe's earliest stages. The technological advancements of the James Webb Space Telescope also extend to its ability to observe phenomena across various frequencies. While previous telescopes focused on specific parts of the electromagnetic spectrum, Webb's instruments cover a broad range of frequencies, from ultraviolet to mid-infrared. This wide range of observation allows scientists to study different astronomical processes and phenomena more closely, leading to a more complete and nuanced understanding of the universe. In addition to its scientific contributions, the Webb Telescope plays a critical role in inspiring the next generation of astronomers and scientists. By capturing stunning images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and other celestial phenomena. The telescope sparks curiosity and wonder about the universe. These images often capture the imagination of students and young researchers, motivating them to pursue careers in science and engineering. Furthermore, the collaborative nature of the Webb Telescope's mission highlights the importance of international cooperation in space exploration. The telescope is a joint effort involving NASA, the European Space Agency, ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. This collaboration brings together expertise and resources from around the world, showcasing the global commitment to advancing human knowledge and exploring the universe. As technology continues to advance, future space missions and telescopes will build upon the foundation laid by Webb. These future missions may include even more powerful observatories or specialized instruments designed to test specific aspects of the universe. Each new mission will contribute to the ongoing effort to unravel the mysteries of the universe and our place within it. In summary, the James Webb Space Telescope represents an extraordinary leap forward in our ability to explore and understand the universe. Its groundbreaking discoveries, from the study of distant exoplanets to the observation of ancient galaxies, are reshaping our understanding of astronomical phenomena and providing new insights into the key processes governing the universe. As we continue to push the boundaries of space exploration, the Webb Telescope will undoubtedly play a crucial role in uncovering the secrets of the universe and inspiring future generations of scientists and explorers.